I would describe my creative practice as being concerned with the relationship between rupture, black interiority, and knowledge production. And I define rupture as anything that forces you to have to reorient yourself, whether that is on a personal scale or whether that is on a global scale. So falling in love, falling in love can be a rupture. The global pandemic was a rupture. And rupture, rupture becomes a framework that informs how I treat material. It also compels me to make other work. I also teach, which is a part of my creative practice, and I'm still learning and defining what that means. But generally, it shows up as a desire to be in community and in study with others, rather than working exclusively in isolation and producing an art object and that being the pinnacle. The pinnacle or the value for me exists in both spaces, whether there is some grand culmination or not. For me to complete a body of work, there has to be the feeling that something just won't leave me alone, this nagging feeling. Um, I could also describe it as being really compelled, but there's a repetition in that. I also have to really feel excited about something, even if I'm weary or just having a hard time, it still excites me. I still get the butterflies, which are not necessarily a good feeling, but I have to follow it. And usually that uncertainty comes with the degree of vulnerability or openness that I know is going to be required of me to bring something to fruition. Much of my recent work and the work in this show engages Black vernacular archives. So the photographs that Black people make, made, continue to make, that were not necessarily meant to be public. And those images were the first types of photographs that I encountered as a very young person. My family uh, were fervent image makers, almost obsessively documenting events and very mundane things sometimes. And I'm so grateful that they were because that material continues to fortify me and make it makes me think of not only the past, it helps me to survive in the present and and is evidence that I can not only survive but also thrive and have and have joy. I often engage this material through collage and other gestures, again, that refer back to rupture. So that could be through changing scale or cropping or repeating something just as a way to complicate the picture plane. I don't think of the promised land as a fixed space or a destination. It's more speculative or theoretical uh, it's more precarious. So for me, a moment of rest could be a promised land in, in that moment. Or holding a new baby could be a promised land. Or being on the dance floor when the sound hits your body and you feel that vibration. That could also be a fleeting kind of promised land. And so I don't, I don't know if we 
arrive at some space where we know this is it, but those moments over the course of your life, maybe that is, maybe they're enough. 